Hello, I'm Bill Roth. This demo takes a look at Tintree one-to-many replication. One-to-many replication enables multi-site disaster recovery strategies. It can also be leveraged for data center migration and remote dev test scenarios. In this session, we'll investigate how one-to-many replication is configured, managed, and monitored with Tintree Global Center for multi-site disaster recovery. Okay, let's go ahead and get started and take a look at one-to-many replication. We're going to start by logging in to the Tintree Global Center. When we log in, we get a lot of interesting information in the key metrics view. We can see IOPS. We can see latency with a complete explanation of all the factors contributing to the latency, such as contention, disk, throttling, network, or host. We can also see other interesting information, such as how much space is being consumed by snapshots. Okay, let's take a look at the VM stores being managed by this instance of Tintree Global Center. Here we can see we've got a collection of VM stores, Dallas, Boston, Los Angeles, New York, and Toronto. We can switch from the overview to the replication view. Here we can see incoming and outgoing replication contexts. If we click on a given path, say the path from Dallas to New York, we can see how much data has been protected during the last week. We can see any replication lags that may exist. Here we don't see any. And we can see how many VMs are being protected over this path. OK, let's take a look at the virtual machines now. Here we see the overview. And we can see we've got Marketing Los Angeles, a couple of engineering machines in Dallas, and an exchange instance in Boston. Let's change from the overview to the protection view. And here we can see that Marketing Los Angeles is being replicated to Toronto. The engineering machines in Dallas are being replicated to New York. And the Exchange Boston virtual machine here is being replicated to three destinations. So this is an example of one-to-many replication. So if we click on the destinations, we can see that Exchange Boston is being replicated to Toronto, Los Angeles, and Dallas. Now, the one-to-many replication feature supports up to four destinations per virtual machine. If we wanted to add a fourth destination, we can scroll down and hover over the protection area and click configure. Let's take a look at what's already been configured. So here we're taking snapshots at 5, 20, 35, and 50 minutes after the hour. In this example, we're only retaining one copy locally and one copy remotely. We could, we could change that to have a higher value, say, seven remotely if we wanted to. But what we're really here to do is to add a fourth replication destination. So here we can see we're replicating to Toronto, Los Angeles, and Dallas. If I click Add More Paths and scroll down, we can select a fourth replication destination. Let's select New York. We'll plug in the default RPO breach alert of 3,000 minutes. We'll click Save. We get an indicator that our settings have been saved. We'll clear that. We'll then click Exit. OK, now when we're looking at the protection for Exchange Boston, we can see that it's being re replicated to Toronto, Los Angeles, Dallas, and now New York. OK, so that's an example of managing one-to-many replication on a per VM level. So, so here we ended up with four replication de destinations. 
what we'll do now is take a look if we wanted to administer multiple VMs within a service group. So here we have a representative service group that contains two virtual machines. They are the Engineering Dallas Design and Engineering Dallas Build Virtual Machines. We can click on Protection Configure, and here we can see we're using the default system values for snapshot schedules and snapshot replication. If we wanted to, we could easily change that to configure snapshots and replication or one-to-many replication. Moving forward, we have some interesting metrics we'd like to share with you. So here we're looking at Exchange Boston again. We'll select it. Okay, besides the fact that we're going to four destinations, we can come over and we can display some graphs or metrics. Here we're seeing throughput being displayed by default. We're not interested in throughput right now, but we are interested in megabytes remaining to be replicated as well as the replication rate. Now it's important to note that we're looking at the aggregate for all replication destinations for the Exchange Boston virtual machine. If we wanted to, we could drill into a specific replication destination. For the sake of this demo, we'll leave it at the aggregate value. It's also important to note that we're looking at a one-day time range. Now, what we can see here with megabytes remaining to be replicated is how much data is yet to be replicated at any point in time. We could go to a specific day of the month and we can see the same values. Down below, we look at the replication rate where we're showing logical replication and actual network replication rates. It's important to note that the logical repl replication rate is substantially higher in most cases. That's because we're only replicating unique deduplicated data that's been compressed. That's why the actual network payload is typically less than the logical payload. Now, the other thing we wanted to point out was we're looking at a one-day time range. We have the ability to zoom out to a one-month view or zoom in as granular as a four-hour view. Let's go ahead and look at a four-hour view. So again, we can see the amount of data yet to be replicated at any point in time, as well as the logical and network replication rates. And because Tintree Global Center maintains these metrics for a full month, we can go to any day in the past month and see what these values were. Okay, I hope that was informative and that's a quick look at what we can do with the Tintree Global Center and one-to-many replication. Thanks. And that's how you configure, manage, and monitor one-to-many replication with Tintree Global Center. We have also highlighted the ease and simplicity of enabling a multi-site disaster recovery strategy. For Tintree, this is Bill Roth.